my name's Sam from the Glam Box and we finally have a YouTube channel! Oh, I have been dying to do this for so long. Um, I put a post up the other day of this makeup and asked people if they wanted to see it and they said yes. So I thought, perfect. This is how we will do our first video. I really hope you guys enjoy it. If you have any feedback that you want to give me throughout, then please let me know and I really hope you do enjoy it. Anyway, this is where we're going to start with this. So, this is the Lacura, if that's how you say it, Caviar Day Cream. This is the Aldi one that everyone raved about, and I don't really usually buy into fads of, you know, copies of type of things, but I thought, you know what, I'll give it a go. And I really like it. I think, well, it smells delightful. It smells like holidays, if holidays had a smell. You know, like sun cream. But it's got an SPF 15, bonus. But I really do just love the consistency of it. It's quite thick. Let me just get my little pixies out for you. So, actually, I might actually pin my hair up because this might be quite difficult. So, rub it all over. I like a really moisturised skin, especially because, you know, I'm over 30 now. You can't get away with these matte looks anymore. So I like to just keep it really, really plump and moisturised. Really rub it into those lines. So, I actually don't use primer. God forbid. That's like the worst thing I ever said. I just, I, I think unless you've got really oily skin or you've got like problem skin, open pores, I don't really think it's needed, to be honest. I think if you get a good enough foundation and you set your foundation right, I personally don't think it's like a proper necessity. The one thing I do use though, which people could say is primer, is the shrub cream. The holy grail of all illuminators. I do use other illuminators now. I have actually brought the mould with it, but I still go back to this and it's the original colour. It's the pink. I just think it highlights really nice and it kind of just pops when it's on your cheekbone. As you will see once I put it on in a minute. So again, I do actually just put this all over and it feels really nice. It's got like can't remember, I used to work at MAC, I should know this. I'm sure it's got something that kills your skin in like cucumber. It feels nice when it's on anyway. Tell I was salesperson of the year. No idea about ingredients. So yeah, you can see, it just gives me that bit of a glow. So, now we've done that, I'm going to brush through my brows. What's left of them. My brows are bushed up. I'm going to leave them there for now. I just like to comb them up so I can kind of see the shape that they're going to go. So I'm going to start with the eyes and I'm going to use Oldie but a Goldie Paint Pot by MAC. This colour is laying low so it's a really like peachy undertone which is perfect for this type of look. The reason I still use Paint Pot because it just doesn't crease. I, I, I am partial to use a concealer on the lid and then set it but you don't have to with the paint pot. And it lasts for 15 hours, long stay. Something I did remind, remember as a sound bite. But yeah, I love it. And if you just want something in the day, this is perfect because you don't actually have to add any other thing on top of your eye. You just put a bit of paint pot on, good to go. Yeah. Put it basically all over my lid. It is peachy, so you don't want to go too high with it because you, you don't want the full like peach up to here. But the lid part of it where you put in your, you're going to put your main colour in a minute. I've got enough on there. So, this is a newish brand, Manchester based, supporting local. It's called Candy Cosmetics. They do amazing, amazing palettes. Like, the colour ranges, you know, you get those palettes sometimes and there's always a couple of colours that you think, you mm, won't really use that. Don't get that on these, they actually have a really nice variety of colours. So if you like your pinks, they have a really good pink palette. There's a really gorgeous like neutral one actually, which we used at a masterclass and people went mad for because it was just like, it had the most perfect browns and golds and things like that, that you could all like mix and play together. So yeah, they're really good brands, so I'll leave a link for them below, but you can see. Lots of pinks, lots of orangey tones. Perfect for anyone who loves a warm eye. So the look I'm going to do is quite a blown out, diffused look. I'm not going to do anything that's like really blocky or off lock. If I keep looking in the viewfinder, I'm very sorry. It's just that it's very difficult to concentrate on yourself without talking to yourself. That makes sense. 
Okay, anyway, first one I'm going to go in with is, yeah, I'm going to go in with this peachy one here. Can you guys see that? that one there. I'm going to just put it rounded around the top. And literally, the way I do my eyes first is I just sit the brush into my socket and little circular motions just build it across. It's like a foolproof way to start your makeup because find your socket, stick your brush in it, that's where you blend in. So you can just see that there. It's a really nice peachy shade. And then I'm going to start going in with a pinkier one, which I think I will go in with this. It's like, it's like a rose gold really actually, which is that one. Yeah, it is rose gold, it's really pretty. I'm gonna use a flat brush for this. I'm gonna go in with a brush I don't know the number of, but it's another synthetic one. I'm gonna go in with that one. So with this, I'm just literally just gonna press it onto my lid. Mm, a bit of fall down there, but not put any foundation or concealer on, so it's okay. So I'm literally just taking it up to the socket. I'm not really taking it like any further out. I feel like pinks and oranges are just, especially for blue eyes, it's just so complimentary. They just really, really bring out the colour in your eyes, make it pop. And it's girly. Okay, I'm just going to use the edge of this brush again, just to soften that edge, because I put a lot on there. Right, so we've got that on. I'm going to go in with a slightly deeper pink now, which is this one, which is a bit more of like... It's um, a bit more of a, no, I won't say cranberry, a plum stroke cranberry colour. So I'm going to go back in with this brush and with that I'm literally just going to like paint it on the outer edge. So this one has a bit of a reddier undertone than the other one. Another favourite product of mine is Max Costa Beach Pencil. I love it that much, look how small it is. I go through these like you wouldn't believe. They are a matte red brown. They are brilliant. Really needs a sharpen. Let me just take out my uh, sharpener. So, literally, that's what's nice as well about using a, a pencil on its on its side rather than like that. You've got more control over it, so you're not as like nervous when you're using it and end up with a big woo screw riff line. So, I'm just gonna pull it across. So with this, I'm going to disobey the palette. I'm going to go back to the Colour Rain Queen of Hearts palette. I love this palette. It's so pretty. It's really gorgeous. I think you can get it off. Ooh. You can get it off Beauty Bay, I want to say. And I'm going to go with Dethrone, which is the ready brown in it. And I'm literally just going to start smudging. Hope you guys can like see what I'm actually doing. Pulling it out, so I'm, I am just trying to get this little like C shape going on. And we're just pushing it a little bit there. You get it a bit smoky, but you can kind of like just start to shade with this brush. That's why it's called my mini shape and shade, shade and shadow. Oh. Right, and then I'm going to go in with my Fluff and Buff again. And I'm going to put a little, little, little bit of this. Oh, I'm going to have to pick it up. There's a, like a brick orange in this candy cosmetics one. Hang on. I'm like layering everything up here. Cheers. That one. I'm going to put a little bit onto, onto the tip of my Fluff and Buff. 
I'm just going to start fluffing. So I feel like it's a rare occasion I actually do this these days anyway. As mums with kids know, well people with businesses to be honest because you think I'm going to get a salon, I'm going to be really glamorous, I'm going to have everything done all the time. No, that does not happen, ever. This, uh, no, I'm lying, my hair, my hair is usually quite good, I have it blown once a week, I'm very lucky. But the rest of it, no, no makeup, no makeup Monday to Thursday guys, it's a true story. Very rarely on Sundays to be honest. Come home and my fiance is a bit like, oh, she's made the effort today. Um, I don't know what it is. I just haven't got the time. Now that we've done that, I'm going to start just bringing it underneath. So I'm not going to go into my waterline with this one. I'm just going to do it on the underneath and on the inner, inner liner, I'm going to put some cream eyeliner. I sometimes will just put dark all the way in. This, with this look, I just like the cream liner. There's no like reason for my eye shape why I do it. I just decided I wanted to do with this look. So, I'm going to pull it along. Like I said, these coals are so um, soft. They're just really easy to play with. But you do need to set them. If you don't set it with a bit of powder, like I have so many clients that go, oh, I put eyeliner on it, it's halfway down my face. You need to set it. You're like, you need to put products with it, and that'd be fine. Like powder. Once you put powder over it, it just sets everything. So again, going with Dethrone from the Queen of Hearts palettes. Palettes? A palette. And I'm just going to rub it along there. I'm going to get my fluff and buff. I'm just going to... On the edge of this one underneath. Oh, wow, I think this is going better than it did the other day. I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't feel this easy the other day. Okay. Looking in the viewfinder so I can see what I'm doing. Yeah, pretty. I like that. Such good colours. Right. Let me just use my finger just to push it out. Okay. And now I'm just going to go in with a little bit of highlighter. I'm going to go back in with this one that has no name for me at the moment. And I'm going to use this loads of pretty shimmery light colours in here. I'm going to go in though. Let's go with this pink actually. I'm going to go with that. Whoops. Okay. Right. It's gone forever. Okay, so. A little bit on the brush, I'm just gonna press it on. The thing with brushes is they pretty much do the work for you. So with that shape brush, it, it sits perfectly just so you get a nice rounded, you'll get like that really stiff square look. It literally just pops on. Perfect. That is all I'm now going to put some mascara on and I'm going to use, I really like this, it is the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Mascara. So I tried this after Makeup by Shyla um, post about it. This is like the dark, oh daring black, so this is like meant to be blacker than black. Um, is anyone else like me and just, it's so hard to get these friggin' plastic things off that like you just give up like that was just staying on. I don't care anymore. No, I don't need to go too mad in the sky because I'm going to wax some lashes over them anyway. So I'm going to leave them like that for now and I'm going to put my skin on. So I always, I like, to, I do like trying new, um, Make on that. I do like try new foundations, but I do tend to go back to a lot of the same ones that I just personally love. One of which is the YSL Touche Clat Foundation. I love this foundation. I go for shade BD50 because it's a really nice tan shade. I do like to go darker than my skin, um, just because I do. No other reason, but I do. I think my life's better with the tan. So, uh, what I'm going to use to apply it is. So during the day, I would tend to go with this style of brush, which is a big fluffy one, so I can just literally whack everything all over and it's just really light. Um, and then when I want to do something that's a little bit heavier, 
I'll go in with a smaller one, which is my perfect powder brush, and I'll like paint it on, and then I'll go over with the Beauty Blender with my concealer and stuff. So, do a couple of pumps of this. Just do third ones, why not? And I start with, uh, my thing with foundation is I actually don't like to feel foundation on my face as much as I like a fuller coverage when I go out. Um, because I just feel suffocated, I just really don't like it. So with this, I just start by doing the central part of my face. These call it planes of your face, but I don't really think that's even the thing. Oh, all over. So all the foundations that I tend to, especially having my kit, I really love Studio Sculpt by MAC. Um, I think it's, it's full coverage, but it's really... Um, it's really moisturising, so you get um, it doesn't look as cakey as like most foundations would. I obviously love NARS, Sheer Glow and All Day Luminous, and I have been trying actually, I've been using their, um, oh my god what's the new one called, the really long wearing one, the long wearing one, I've been using it but I've been using it on brides, and I really do like it, I think, I feel like the colour's a little bit different in those, because they have the staying power, they tend to oxidise a little bit faster so I kind of watch my colours a little bit in that but it's absolutely it don't go powdery or anything it's really nice. Uh, Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder that's a gorgeous one. Hands going in the square here I didn't I didn't anticipate how much I needed. So painting on. I bet that look really bad on camera as well because I don't really look <laughs> what I'm doing. Just wherever it's gonna go it's gonna go. A little better over there. It's funny, isn't it, seeing yourself like transform as you as the process goes on. Okay. So I'll put the link for this. Now I um uh, I just dot it under like this. You can get this from QVC, but I tend to just get it straight from Tart in the US because it works out pretty much the same, to be honest. Right, I'm just going to do a little line of it down my nails. I'm so glad I picked light medium because light neutral would have been a disaster right now. I love it. Under my nails. Okay. It's very tribal. So then I'm going to go in with this multi use brush by my Kit I love this because you can just like buff it in. Okay, I'm happy with this. I'm gonna go in with the contour. And it's tart again, but this time it is the Amazonian clay stick one. I really like this because the colour is quite a, a greyish, it's a cool brown basically. I'm trying to fluff it up. It's a cool brown colour. There's something tickling me there. Um, which is ideal for contouring. When you're contouring, try not to go with anything that's too red. The redder, it just looks orange. And the same token, don't go for something too cool because then it looks dirty. So I do a bit of both and um, mix a warmer bronzer with my cooler concealer. It's really like fine. So you can literally, when you're doing this contour bit, you will pull some funny faces, so apologies. But you kind of want to do like a number three. That's how I, I tend to do it. So I like go around, down here and you kind of just want to go a little like onto your cheekbone not too not under your cheekbone because you're going to like pull down you want everything to be higher down here i have to do the longer jawline because i do have as you will have already gathered this situation going on so okay um i'm going to contour my nails i don't particularly need it today but, oh well. Okay, a little bit down my nose, because we're doing a video, so let's just go for it. Then I'm going to go back in with this brush. And just straight down. So because your foundation's not set yet, it's just really easy to blend in, so... It's another reason I'm not, like, mad crazy on loads of powder products for my skin, because... You just can't blend anything else into it once it's set. Uh... For my blending colour, I'm going to go in with um, 
LC Cosmetics. So I followed Makeup by Lilla, is she called? For years, and I really love her. I think she's great. She brought out this brand of uh, cosmetics, foundations, and things like that, and they were really good. So I thought I'm going to try the bronzer. Really love it. Really nice colour. Kind of. It it's warm, but it's not actually too warm. This is tan, so it, it still has like that golden undertone. So I'm just gonna. Build. So right, the reason I'm doing this is you'll be like, why is she contouring? She's just done that. The difference. It just makes it pop a little bit more. So this is like if you want something a little bit stronger. So a little circular motions. This brush as well, because it's that type of shape, it just kind of fits where it needs to go. I think we will go in now with some blusher and powder. The powder I'm going to use, because I still want that highlighted finish, is Light Plus by MAC to the Mineralize. I really love these because they don't look really super dry matte. They're really still kind of moisturising. So using, this is my Ultra Multi, which I think is the same as that. Just like the limited edition one. I'm just going to. So the reason I'm using this instead of like Laura Mercy, which I do love and that I am partial to use, whether it be on clients or sometimes on myself, is because of, of how it sets on my under eye. Sometimes it sets a little bit darker and I find it, it it can crease my eyes and feel like a lot of product. I don't like that dry feeling. That's why I'm using this one today. So, so basically I'm just going to set the areas that tend to get a bit more excess oil. So like around my nose, chin, forehead. And I'm just going to sketch in under there just again to make my contour go like that. And for blusher, I am going to use the MAC Sweets for My Sweets uh, Extra Dimension Blush. It's a really cute colour. I have this as well in the peach, which is really gorgeous, but it's just not going to really go with this. So I'm going to go with the pink. Go pink, pink, pink. I'm going to use my blusher brush. I'm a massive fan of blusher. I know a lot of uh, makeup artists don't really tend to pick it up anymore, but for me it's still like a massive staple product, so I love it. So, cheesy smiles. Brush it across your cheekbone and like into your contour, so it, again, it, you don't have that really flat contour, it just warms everything up. It's such a difference. It's such a pretty colour. And we're going to go over with our highlighter, so everyone's favourite, Doll Beauty sent me this amazing duo thank you girls got two colors like a diamond shine bright shine bright's my personal favorite and that's the one that i would tend to go with on myself because it's a little bit more of a gold tone uh like a diamond has a bit more of a, of a silver undertone so you get a really really powerful highlighter so if you want it to stand out more if you're a bit of a paler skin this shade and if you want it a bit more muted or you're a bit more of a darker skin this one brilliant Back in with this one. So, just on the top of my cheekbone. And on this one. I'm just going to put a little bit over my lip. Touch on my nose. I know some people hate that, but I actually would think it's really cute. And then I always just put a little bit. On the top there, just because I just think it gives like an all nice glow when you have a picture. And then I'm going to go in with a more of a smaller brush. Uh, right, brows after that. I'm going to use Anastasia Beverly Hills Medium Brown Dip Brow. Uh, I've gone back to these. I do tend to swap between the, um, sometimes I use the powders. Not so much though. I tend to use more like a brow pencil so the brow wiz I love. Absolutely love the brow wiz because it is just like drawing in natural hairs. And then with this, with a brush, you can do the same thing. It's just like it's a big part, it lasts longer. So I'm just gonna tail off the end. That's just an amazing difference. <laughs> like it's actually a joke. Okay, I'm gonna use the little brush that I used at the beginning. 
to brush in as bath throw. Just so you, again, it kind of brushes the product onto the brows and gets a little bit more texture. Lovely, lovely. Right. I'm actually going to put, that uh, looks really close in there, um, a bit of Shine Bright just on my tear ducts because I want to. It's going to be a little bit brighter there. Lash. These guys are the bomb at lashes. Uh, if you want like mink, amazing. Uh, they do. It's actually not really a pair that I've used that I don't like, to be honest. This is the Chloe Elizabeth, so this is quite a full on lash. As you can see, and the packaging is really pretty. It's pink, we're going to have it, aren't we? Let's be honest. Um. Okay, now for lips. Last but not least, my lips. I have my brush just missing out. <laughs> I don't even know if I've got anything out for it. I'm going to go in with Soul Lip Pencil by MAC. Here it is, one second. Can't see if you're looking. Obviously, I've had my lips uh, filled, but I have got a little bit more on this side. This side's deflated a little bit, so I'll just make it a little bit more even. We'll start and I do prefer like a larger looking lip. Larger? Fuller? Yeah, and I do like to like pull a lot of sore on. Yeah. Uh, pop, stab it. The reason I put quite a lot of lip liner on is because I find it lasts a lot longer. Um, whether your lipstick fades off, you've still got a little bit of colour. So, that's why. And to be honest, I've not actually found another lip liner that I prefer to MAC. If anyone, yeah, I've really not. I still wear Spice, I still wear Strip Down, I still wear so Oak Stone. I'm feeling a bit of Pamela Anderson mood. So if anyone can recommend any other lip liners that I think I should try, I've, I've like, I've dabbled, but I've always come back. So if anyone's got any recommendations, let me know, because I'd love to try some other lip liners. So if you can see, I've got a little bit dark on the top and I'll go lighter on the bottom, because that's how I, I prefer my bottom lips a little bigger than my top lip. And then I'm gonna go in with a bit of Cherish by MAC. Only a little bit. And then, 66 by Chanel. Found this one, really like it. That's, that's going, oh, I have to redo this because the camera overheated here. I've realized I, I have actually looked quite half naked on this video. So this is the final look. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed it as much as I have. Please don't forget to click subscribe and give us a thumbs up and any comments, anything that you want to see from us in the future. But thank you. Bye.